Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today I've got an easy but cool hack for you. So, do you ever sew up a pair of shorts or a skirt and then realize that they have no pockets and it's just kind of aggravating? Um, I'm going to teach you today how to make pockets, jugger pockets. So they're just like regular side pockets, not in seam, but like side pockets. I'm going to show you how you can create your own pattern piece for these pockets. Um, and it's super easy and you can do it to any uh, pants. Now, if for some reason you already sewed up the side of your pants, you can always take that off in the waistband and add some pockets. Um, so let me show you how easy it is to make self draft these pockets. Um, we're going to sew up these shorts actually. So let's get started. Let's get started by making our pocket pattern piece. I'm going to grab my bottom pattern. This is the bottoms that I'm sewing up today. I'm going to trace it out into a piece of paper. I'm tracing the side seam and the top seam. And I want to figure out how big I want this pocket to be. Today I'm using my phone to help me figure that out. I removed my pattern piece and now I've got like this almost made pocket pattern piece. So this is how wide I'm going to have my pocket just because that looks like a good size my hand fits there. Then I'm going to create the opening. Now I want to make sure that my hand's going to fit through there, my phone, whatever you want to add in there. And the seam allowance is going to be kind of eaten up right there so I'm just kind of marking about where that's going to be gone and making sure everything is going to fit. I'm also adding seam allowance here because I know that's, that's going to be gone. And then I'm going to add the bottom of the pocket and my pattern piece is completed. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out our pocket. I want two main pocket pieces, one for each pocket, because I'm making two pockets. Then I'm going to fold this line down and create the front of my pocket because the other one was my pocket bag. Now I'm creating the lining of my pocket. So I want to cut two of those as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my shorts and at the side seam when my pocket's going to go, I'm going to cut off that little extra because that's where I'm going to sew my pocket onto. I'm going to sew that pocket lining right sides together at the top seam. Once that's sewn, I'm going to flip it over and give it a nice little steam there. And you can also go ahead and top stitch that if you want. I will top stitch in a minute, but after that, we're going to place the pocket bag right sides together on top of that pocket and we're going to sew that bottom and side seam. Make sure to only sew those pocket and pocket liner together. Do not sew it to the shorts, just the pocket. I'm using a serger for that, and then I'm using a cover stitch to top stitch the top of my pocket. Our pockets are finished. I just have to baste this sides or clip them down when I go to sew the front and back of my pants together so it doesn't flip in. But look at how cute that looks. All nice and finished. My phone fits in there perfectly. I love it. Now really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing these up so I can show you what it looks like. I am sewing the Adult Thistle Sleep Set from Petite Stitchery, but you can do this to any joggers or any pants or any leggings or any pattern you have that you just want to add pockets to. Alrighty friends, we are finished with our pockets. I love how it turned out. I think that's such an easy hack. Like these are shorts that I got, um, I made from Love Notions. Uh, these are like PJ shorts, which are super comfy, but I like to have the pockets to put in like my phone or my headphones or whatever I want to put in as I'm walking around the house. Um, and I don't want just inseam pockets. So I thought that these were like a really cute added feature to these. Um, and I think they're super cute and they were super easy to make. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't uh, so you never miss any of our other tutorials. And let me know below what else you want to see. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.